Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where today you guys have given me loads and loads and loads and loads of ideas about things that I could do to, to help with that, this fountain but most of them involve like buying a second fountain so yeah and then ideas about what to do with the door it, basically you guys are saying that I should kind of put um, get the whole house surrounded by these marble tiles which is something I will do, but as you can see, my money is a little bit uh, a little bit low right now. So we're going to work on getting some things going to sell. So at the moment, we don't have much in the way of um, crafting of bars and things like that going on. So I think the first thing I want to do is a Tuesday. Oh, it's gone past eight o'clock. No, no, no. Let's quickly go and see if we can find our uh, commission. I don't know if Higgins will be already taken one. Just come away. Looks like there's two S ranks there still. Satchels and... Oh, aluminium plates. Oh, that's a better one. I might even have them. No, I don't. I don't even know who they're for, actually. They might not be for Anton. They're not always. I didn't even check. Because uh, it's the way I roll, apparently. I don't check anything. I'm terrible. Right. I'm just going to make some aluminium plates and just make sure I have them in my inventory. Also, we need to go to see Sophie and get some of these planters planted, even if I'm going to still be moving them around a little bit. I think we're doing quite well with how many machines we've got, but we do need lots more, um, lots more flooring to be made and to be purchased. Probably need to move that box as well. Okay, let's get off the horse and go over to one of the cutters and tell it to make me aluminium plates times three. Well, I can make 13 of them. Why not? Why not just go for it? I need some more magnesium ore. We'll have to go to the mine soon and uh, get some more of that. Random planter in the middle of this. Try and get them all at least. To, I know things are very unfinished right now, but try and at least get them in kind of the right place, not in the middle of the workshop. And the workshop is kind of looking like in the right place as well. A few things that could do with moving. Actually, that could do with moving over there, just in case I do need to actually make something on it. I want everything to be kind of as connected as possible. I do at least have conductor flooring underneath everything. That's kind of the minimum you want, really, isn't it? So, yeah, you guys were saying, like, with fountains, I could have one to either side. Which kind of does make sense, actually. So what I would probably do with that, then, is to just pop it, like, say... Say somewhere, like, there. And then have one on the other side over this way. And then start the workshop a little bit further over, possibly, and just have like a little, a little section that's a little section down here that's more for these sort of things, and then start the rows over here. Yeah, that would that would do, wouldn't it? I could just pull up a bit of the flooring there, put some marble flooring underneath it, have a little square going on with the yeah, and then we could put some relics around. It would it would be lovely. Okay, I've got plans now. That's good. Let's see if I've got aluminium plates that I can just hand in. I probably do. Yep, I thought I would. So we've got some paintings. Apparently, like, some of the paintings I picked up from the Mysterious Man um, are actually, like, fan-made art, and I didn't know that. Also... Something I found out recently is about the Hulu brothers and um, they are apparently called the Hulu brothers after the Calabash brothers, which is an 80s Chinese animation where seven brothers were made out of gourds or gourds, however you say them. And they had all special superpowers and they were all different colours of the rainbow, just like the Hulu Brothers, and they're even in the same order of like colours and ages. 
I was like, wow! Suddenly they're so much more interesting. I'm gonna move this somewhere else. That's the thing, we can start putting the street lamps in little corners and things. That looks quite nice. I need one either side of the house. So I was going to move that planter then. So we've got a street lamp in there, I think. Just go up there. I think I'm kind of nearly there with moving things around actually now. I was going to move... Oh yeah, I was going to move this whole pathway across one so that it goes into this food area evenly. So that's something I need to work on. It is a little bit finicky, all of this, honestly, but it's worth it. I need to move the lamppost across as well. Get me. Inventory open. I need to sort my inventory out as well. My inventory is a little bit full. be basically doing this and then I wanted to, oh yeah I wanted to go to A&G's didn't I hang on let's do this I wanted to go to A&G's just move the uh, llama pen and the other pen back a little bit so that I've got my little kind of barbecue seating area thing I will be buying like maybe a parasol and seating and things like that to go there I can't put a fountain in the middle so that's not going to work don't have money for all these these plans I've got, but uh, I will be making more money, and I've got nothing else to really spend the money on now. It's only upgrades for Dan for Dana's mine, and upgrades for the tree farm, and just anything I want to do around the workshop. And the workshop is starting to come along nicely. I need to make sure I'm getting more planks done though. I really want to kind of try and shift the workshop more into this corner. I definitely think that's important. That will be a cooking area. And I want to shift everything along a bit. So the stable, right, let's see how far back that can go. Because I want the path to go there. It will fit there just. That's good. And then the chicken coop. I need to come back quite a little bit there. I think that'll do because I'm only going to put the um, walkway up to there. I'm not going to put it in behind the chickens or anything. So you've basically got the stable on one side, the chickens on the other. I'm just going to move this bit of pathway across there. I'll move that lamppost back as well. And that will allow me to have a square area for everything to go in. On this side, which will be great. Oh, I've just realised. Kind of going to need. Let's see if I can move the stable across any. No, I can't. Right, okay, going to move the stable in here. Just for a second. I'm going to see if I can move the chickies over the other side. See if they'll fit where I want them to fit because basically what I want is another. Yeah, they'll fit there. That's good. That's very good. I want the path going along here. Oh no, because then that's not going to be in line with the the gate. <laughs> Why does nothing ever line up in this? This is my fault. It's not the gate. The dev's fault this time. This isn't. This is like all me. This is why. This isn't lining up. Mm. I'm trying to think what I can do about this because it's like uh, I want it to line up with the gate, but I don't want a, a path going in here in the in the middle that looks all beautiful. And then I wonder if I can move the shed across. Just a tiny bit. I can do. And the shed would be there. 
You know I'm going to end up needing to move the house at this rate, right? It's, it's a thing that's going to happen. Also, I just don't like the way that that's fitting in there now. Oh, man. There's no other way to do it while that's still like that. <laughs> Why is my life so complicated, guys? All I want is everything to fit. I mean, it just looks so much better there. Move the stable back in. I mean, that fits very well in that space there. Put the stable in. We've got actually that looks quite nice that way round. It's just what to do with this. This is a mess. A big fat mess. I suppose I could put up with it. I'm not that not everything has to be exactly lined up. But it kind of does. Oh goodness me, so does that... Putting marble underneath the fountains apparently makes it... Go weird. How odd. I am... I'm extremely... But do you know something? I wonder. I do wonder if the shed could just go back in here. Is it too big now? Yeah, it's too big now. If it is moved over a little bit, it does start to look silly. I can pop it there, but then there's like one paver's worth of... Because I could put paving all the way down the side there, right? And I could put the stable like there. That would have it in about the right place, but I don't know whether you would get a double row of um, pavings up the side there. I do honestly think that's probably our best bet at the moment. I might have to put a single line of pavers there and then and then expand out to a double line or something along those lines. Uh, it also means it's kind of out of line with the end of the trees there, which is a bit annoying as well. Oops, pen. I don't want to move that. That's why that's so nice, it's completely and utterly in line. See, it's not in line with the planters there either, actually. Yeah, you know what, never mind. I am thinking that the planters behind the house are actually going to be a good idea. So I think things need to move in that respect. I think this all needs to move across. I need to keep coming back and having a good look in here and thinking about what I'm going to be doing. Okay, that'll do for now. The more I look, the more I can see the overall effect of everything, the more I can sort of plan a little bit. Who wanted those aluminium plates, then, is the next thing I want to ask. Um, Anton. Okay, cool. We're right there. Should we take someone out on a day out? Should we take Anton on a day out? Just for something different to do. But I'm doing a lot of arranging in the workshop right now. Such an efficient builder. I know, I'm amazing. And I bought you a gift of a crystal. Yes, because I want more money off you. Right, so my workshop, Peach Plaza, Amber Island Bridge. At 10 o'clock tomorrow, we're going to spend some time with Anton.
And I'll give him a crystal then as well. Cool, right, whisper, off we go. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, just some unused parts from Merlin. It's nice to have like posts though, you know? Never get posts anymore. It's a very rare occurrence nowadays. Okay, this doesn't look so bad, like in the flesh. It looks a bit annoying from the, the main screen, but I actually think that that looks nicer from this side of things. So, yeah, let's have a... I'm still very short on the marble flooring. I'm just going to make sure that I've... Um... What was all that about? I would say I probably don't want any marble around here. I'm just going to leave it as grass for now, and then I'll work on getting more flooring later. Oh, no, I don't want to pull up the marble fountain. I want to pull up the thing underneath it. Really? Well, I'll move it a bit then, shall I? Just going to leave it in the grass. Leave it by the house. In, in the grass, by the house, over here have a lovely fountain. I'm just going to pull everything around it up. But basically, the base of the fountain will be covered if I put marble blocks around it. So that's an interesting thing as well. So we're definitely going to want eventually two fountains, one to either side of the house. I think that's the only way we're going to save this. It's the only way it'll be salvaged. I'm going to pull these up as well. So I can just put paths in the, the main places that are actually needed and stuff. So I think we're going to need some marble flooring down here to make this path. Okay. Then we have a path, prop a couple of paths properly into the main sort of area there. Then I was going to move... Um, some marble stuff over here. I was going to move the whole, make the whole thing square, so that all the paths going into this like square area, which as I say will be for cooking and things like that. Eventually, it's going to take a little while for me to get all the stuff for it. But ah, uh, the stable's going to need to move back a little bit, but that's fine. It's got room to do so. I just didn't um, didn't place it quite right. So there's going to be a lot of things that need to just be changed before I finish with this. So one will go in here, one will go in here, and then I'll move the stable back in a bit, and then all the planters need to change position as well, and then we'll have a lovely square area that I can put all of my drying racks and things like that in. Like I say, I'll put my blenders in there, and I'm, like, I'm getting loads of condensed power stones and things like that, so we'll just get them sorted out. I don't need conductive flooring for every single machine in the whole place. You know, I do get plenty of power stones and things. Really, I was doing so well. So well. Fell at the last hurdle. Okay, I think that's more like it. We're going to be moving these lamp posts away. I'm just moving the whole thing so it, it kind of goes in line, basically. Because you know what I'm like with lining things up. Up it down there. And I have to do the same on the other side as well. That planter, pop it down there, and then everything is all nice and and even over here. I'll probably put some nice relics or something cool in there that I can I can look at. I 
I feel like we're getting there now. Um, I could just put that last one down like here. Just to show that we're going to carry on the path all the way along the front of the workshop. Okay, so I want to move all of these planters back one. That will give us our square area because it was just... It wasn't good, was it? It wasn't good when like all of these little pathways were just like the wrong size and things. Now it's a square. It's like, yay. I know. Yeah, I'm getting really, really kind of OCD about this, but it matters to me. This is like my pride and joy this game, so gonna use the two there to make a little little gap away in there and put these in the corners that I uh, didn't have any oh okay this one can go over here then so you get the idea you get the idea so I'm gonna actually bring all my drying racks and blenders over I may need to put some kind of flooring in the middle there um, it will probably be the cheaper floorings for now, and then I will upgrade as I get more money. So I've got to try and find all my drying racks and blenders and things now, because they're all going to go over there. And then I've got to have a think about this, uh, this plank flooring, because that definitely needs to be all moved around and stuff. I'll just get them all over here and then I'll, I'll think about how they're all going to be arranged later. So having these all out of the way is really, really good into their own area. It's really good because it means that my chests and things will be a lot more easily accessible. Whereas they haven't been recently. So yeah, just a couple of them in the corner there and then maybe a couple over the other corner. When everything's in its proper place, I'm going to feel more like I can check on things. I can be like, oh, is anything being made at those drying racks? Oh, I'd better do that today, you know? It's not quite there, but we'll, we'll work on it. So I could maybe have like eight drying racks or so. I could have like drying racks in each corner. And then I could have like um, two blenders with the cook pot like in the middle or something. Just to try and make it kind of even and symmetrical. I do need to turn all of the chests around as well because yeah, they're not great. It's kind of this sort of thing, I guess. This is where I try and make things line up again and they won't. Um, I definitely had a second blender somewhere. Okay, so those blenders are going to need their own power. I'm almost going to need to make a second cooking pot just for show. Don't put it past me, I would do it. Oh no! It's late, I need some rest. I've got a good idea for that, actually. I'm going to go and check on the commissions first, though, because I do need money. Um, but I kind of think we're getting there. I, as I say, I'll leave the fountain there for now. But we're going to put a fountain on the other side, which means that I'm going to maybe need some, possibly some more fencing and things just to... I don't really want to fence off them, though. Fence off them? Fence them off. Django, I uh, got some delicious seafood from Toadie and bubble fish soup. That's good. That's actually a present for someone, I believe. That's good when they start giving you presents for other people. Now we must remember we've got our date with Anton this morning once uh, we grab our commission. Look, he's, he's off. He's off to do commissions. Uh, no, not commissions. He's off to do our play date. 
printing presses. That's a really nice commission. I'll work on that. No problemo. Now for printing presses, I think I need two industrial engines. I'm just going to... I oh, know, I keep not using my horse. Is that because the horse is in the wrong place now? Because it's in such a tucked away area. I do need to move that as well. I'll go over to my assembly table. Which I think doesn't... It, I don't think it should have machines quite so close to it. But there we are. Um, I want to have a look at printing presses and see exactly what I'm missing. Pulleys, industrial engines, grinding stones and manganese steel bar. We're missing the industrial engine. Okay, cool. We're missing the grinding stones, but I can make those. We're missing the pulley. And I believe if we want to make pulleys, I'm missing lubricant. I'll just check if there's anything else I need for them. Oh, hang on. They'll be made on the grinders. Yeah, comprehensive grinder would be better. So, pulley. I am just missing lubricant. So, I need four lubricants, which will be one trip through hazardous ruins three. Two industrial engines, which is a trip a trip or two through Piggy Boss. So we're gonna we've got actually got our work cut out for us to get all the stuff together for that, unfortunately. So we might have a bit of a busy day, but it'll be a busy day of doing things other than um other than the workshop. Because I don't want to be doing that all the time. Because I know some people love seeing you rearrange the workshop and some people do not. To be fair, I don't do it often, like, I do it in the downtime times, but uh, it's nice to just go around, give people presents, all that sort of thing, make a bit of money, make sure the machines are making things. I'm being a bit lax with that at the moment as well. Something I'll work on maybe once, uh, well, the problem is, like, when your workshop's all in disarray, it's very difficult to, like, motivate yourself to be like, oh, everything has to be on and everything has to have things being made in it and all that sort of thing, so start playing yeah I want to go to the beach unfortunately I forgot to bring my horse because I seem to be doing that all the time at the moment I've got no idea why but oh well let's go for a run oh look you can see my crane from here and the lighthouse light I made that harbour is so cool can't wait for Starlight Island. I think Starlight Island is going to be over there. I think that's Starlight Island. Yes, I would love to doodle in the sand. What are you going to make me make? An arrow through two hearts. Okay. The two hearts are yours and Doctor Zeus, right? Yeah, I thought so. I hate to miss a bit. Oh, it takes me so long to redo it. Wonderful. Yes. Looks pretty good. Just going to wait for the doodle in the sand thing to come back up. There we are. Takes a little while to pop up again. I need to draw a whale. Oh no. Okay, so trying not to, um, it's a bit like a decision logic puzzle in a way that you have to like try, like the traveling postman, try and not uh, repeat yourself too much. It's probably where they got this idea from. Or it's not, it can be the traveling postman or the traveling salesman, can't it? I think it, it sometimes gets called either. I was forced to take decision maths in school, even though I was taking biology and chemistry and I was supposed to be taking um, statistics and mechanics. And then I had to take mechanics and decision is, and not take statistics, which is supposed to uh, prop up my biology. And then that was rubbish when I went to university because then I had to do psychology and I needed all the statistics knowledge that I didn't get in school. So thanks school, love ya. 
and it was because and and I imagine that if my parents were on the PTA at the time, I probably would have got the choices I wanted. I mean, what kind of school? Like, f fair enough. Okay, if um, you would just randomly like I just want to take statistics because and I know that there were some people that were like yeah I really want to take statistics and they got into statistics I was taking sciences that needed those particular mathematics subjects to support them and then I didn't even get the choice I wanted it was really really rubbish like why would they do that like they knew I needed to do those things I didn't just want to I needed it Right, we are done, Anton. So how are we doing? 54 points. Thank you for listening to me talk about my, my schooling. That was lovely of you. You can tell I'm still a little bit, still a bit uh, after quite a few years as well, quite a, quite annoyed by that. I just don't like it when um, people kind of think, well, you're not important enough to do this. I am, thanks. <laughs> Took me many years to realise... Um, that I'm not completely unimportant. It's a very weird thing. It's not nice to be someone who thinks that they're the most important person Talk in the world. My... But equally, um, sometimes you can undervalue yourself. It's very, very easy to undervalue yourself. And not to fight for things that you really need or want, you know? Just think, oh, I can't do anything about it. If I'd have gone to my mum, Made my mum go into school and talk to my head teacher about about it. I bet, I bet a little space in the class would have come up, you know. But that didn't happen. Let's go on the DD bus, Anton. Let's go together, and let's go and um, let's go do some seesaws and stuff. I love doing all the games. Like when I know pretty much everything there is to know about someone, and we just go through dialogue options again. I'd much rather just do seesaw. Seesaw is fun, Anton. Come on, let's go. Yes. Yes. I like the seesaw. I don't like the, the swings. Swings suck. I can never get them in the right in the right orientation, in the right sort of uh, pattern. The right rhythm, that's the word. You can never get the right rhythm on the swings. Yay, we're in the green. Anton is having fun. It's always funny when She Lab and Paulie are on the seesaw together because it's like She Lab's so tiny and Paulie is so huge. And I'm like, how does She Lab even get Paulie to like. Because the seesaw is the the same length on each side as well. You would need you would need a seesaw that was like really long for She Lab and really short for Paulie. That's what you would need. Okay, so. Hmm. What are we gonna do now? I can't play here. I'm I'm so sorry. We need to go. We need to go and just sit on the wishing tree. I think sit under the wishing tree and have a chat about face cream. Let's chat about face cream with Anton. Casual talk. I don't, if I don't have a travel buddy, I'm not going anywhere. Interesting. Compliment. Your skin has the best glow. It's so silly. A guy also needs to take care of his skin. This isn't something only ladies need to do. It's true. And we're done. 93! That's really good. Plus 30. Fabulous. That's like that's like a satchel. Talking about satchels. Talking about satchels. Apparently, if I'm quick, I've been forgetting that you can just pop into the school and grab a satchel because there's one at the top of the stairs, and it should have respawned. Yes, quite right. Quite right. People in the comments that were telling me that. So we can go and give that to Anton and get another thirty points with him, and that would be sixty points in one day, unless it's nearly his birthday. And I'll keep it for that then. Let's just double check. We probably missed his birthday. Oh my goodness, it's Anton's birthday today! That was more luck than judgement, wasn't it? 
That was complete luck and no judgment whatsoever. Anton, Anton, Anton. Got you a satchel. This should give massive points with him now. Oh, yeah. Random 91 points of social with Anton. Triple points for birthdays. It was only double. I kept saying triple points for the Winter Festival. It was only double. I think it may be only double on the... It may be double. It may be triple. I'm not sure on the day of the bright sun. But birthdays are triple. Russo will be next. Get him some ribs. Django, Emily and Mayor Gale. We missed Mint's birthday because we are terrible, terrible people. I'll probably regret that later. He's born on the first day of spring. Also, QQ and Apple on that day as well. If you're not silly like me and just forget everything. I love it when things randomly go right for me. I think we're looking alright at the moment. Do you know what? I actually think that fountain, because the house is asymmetrical, doesn't look half bad just on its own. Just sitting there on its own. I don't know what to do with this area here though. It seems like it, it, it's, it's waiting for something. There's nothing to put there though. Except if I can put down some um, platforms and, and put down some nice uh, relics and things in that area. I'll see how that goes. Right, let's check on all these machines and make them all do something. Because they're, they're just taking up space right now. Manganese, manganese bars. Seven days worth. Thank you. Now you, how about some iron bars? And you, how about making me some lead bars? And you, how about you make me some welding rods, I would say. Welding rods. Yes. And you make me some charcoal down the end here. Wonderful. The efficiency's gone down, though. Probably because... Half of these aren't on. Oops. They're at 100% again now. That's fine. Okay. Do you know what would be lovely? It would be to know by looking at these. I know I'm asking for a lot because they have given a lot. Like bearings, 50 out of blah, 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 blah. Or like some something to say how many you've got would be amazing. I'm make bearings. They're always useful to have. Okay, so now we need to go. And uh Oh my inventory is so full. I need to go get things for these printing presses, but my inventory is incredibly full. I don't know if I'll manage it in one go. I'll have to see. Oh, the street lamps in my inventory still. Good grief. All parts. Jet tubes. Bubblefish stew. Valves and... Plates, ingredients, and a massive. Oh, hang on. There's me saying there's nothing to go in this area. Fish tank would almost exactly fit there perfectly. Yeah. I like that. I'll put some floorboards underneath it though. Unless I put it on this side, it would have a little bit more room on this side. But I kind of like the fountain being over here. Still not 100% on this. 
And I also still think the house might need to come forward a bit as well. And in that case, the chickens would need to move. But they could move over here. The house could come forward. Hmm. Yeah, a couple of things I could do. I kind of do want the trees going behind the house. Anyway, I am I am waffling and I am planning and it wastes so much time. I know this. I just wanted to put the fish tank down. That was all. I have no intention necessarily of using the fish tank, by the way. Just putting it down so that it can look pretty. I don't have much room left, do I? Good grief. Let's put all the wood away. That would help. Problem is you find so much stuff in these um in these hazardous ruins and I, I really I haven't done inventory management to be fair in a long time. I've been picking things up every day out of those boxes and not having to pick them up myself and getting away with being very lazy. I can't really moan. But I can. I can always moan. I'm really, really good at moaning. You might have noticed that. I like I've practiced loads. It takes pretty pretty big amounts of effort to be as moany as me. Right, so Look at all these fishing rods. I have to go sell them. <laughs> like I didn't I forgot to sell them last time. Igneous rock. And a whole bunch of stuff to go in metal and gems. But yeah, those fishing rods are not helping. See, like rock, those are meant to be in wood. Uh, stuff that's meant to be all over the place. Generally, I consider it's okay to go into the mines if I've got an entire inventory square full there, which we nearly do. I go sell the fishing rods. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, I will actually. Sonia's will still be open. Come on, Wispy. You've been lazy today. You've not done anything. I do feel like I'm getting there with it, though. I'm getting there with everything. It all just takes a bit of, a bit of time to get used to. Bit time to get sorted. I'm not there yet. I knew it would take a long time. But that's the thing, when you've got such a big space, it does take a long time to arrange it all and to make it all look pretty. Okay, I'm trying to sell those fishing rods. 130% market price. Okay, yep, sure. We'll sell four fishing rods. Five fishing rods. There we are. Also sell these paint thingies, paint brushes. I have pens on me, I'll sell those to you. Sell you, I guess. Emperor Bannerfish. Could have put that in the fish tank, but never mind. And I've got all these. What's the best sword? I could sell that to you. I don't know about my war hammer. I'm never going to get another one of those, am I? Talismans. I could give them to add it, or I could just make some more. It's good to have a bit of money though. Those actually aren't worth selling compared to just selling the topaz. 40 dried apricots, well, wow. that's loads. Keep the painting. Sell the golden salmon, I guess. I'll be fishing a bit more. And then when the price goes down, then we'll go buy a load of caterpillars from Sophie. Okay, so now I feel that we can go to the Hazardous Ruins, level 3. I'm going to have to call this episode like a day out with Anton or something. I know I've already had technically a day out with Anton, but never mind. Oh, actually I do get uh, engines for doing this, so that's quite good. I might not have to go do Piggy Boss too many times if I can get an engine from that. Right. Because we are a bit late now. I, I don't know if we'll get 
piggy boss done today. I don't think we will. I don't think we've got enough time. I think we have to have three hours spare. I don't think we'll get across to the desert in time to have three hours spare. So we'll do piggy boss first thing in the morning. However, it is a nice big chunky um, commission and I am spending a lot of time each day at the moment doing um, social and doing things around the workshop and stuff like that. So the commissions are taking a little bit of backseat. However, I do want to just keep myself ahead of Higgins because he is Higgins and he cannot be the winner because he's Higgins. I need to be the winner winner chicken dinner in this situation. Okay, six scores of finding awesome loot. I don't mind about that. Jump dancers are a bit of a pain. I think they're worse when they, uh, they're in like your kind of pools of acid and they come and jump on you and you try and kill them, but you come forward every time you try and kill them and then you, then you jump in the acid and it's really annoying or venom or whatever it's supposed to be. All I know is it hurts. And should be avoided at all costs. Oh cool, I got a bit of lubricant already. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, lubricant is getting a bit easier to find. I don't know whether it's because I'm fi I know the places to go for them now, or whether it's because they the devs have felt sorry for us trying to find everything. Industrial engine as well. Nice. And more lubricant. Very nice. That was lucky. I only think I need about four lubricants, and I've already got two of it. And I've, I need two industrial engines and I've already got one of them. Fantastic. Oh. I'm trying to roll out of the way. Doesn't always work. I'm not the most skilled at like rolly battles and things like that. Again, mostly because I play these things for fun, not to be super skilled. I'm not, the, I'm, you know, get good and all that. Can get lost. Get good can get lost. Yeah. I've got to tweet that. Oh my goodness. I'm really good at multi clicking the mouse button multiple times, so amazing at that. Just play a clicker game. I'd be really good at it. I am really tempted to play Regency Solitaire on stream, though. We could go through the, the wonderful adventures of, of Cheesy McCheesington together. I think I could make a game that cheesy funny if I tried. I reckon I could. Mostly by being deadpan and taking it completely seriously. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I came. So this is the way I must go. So what are we on now? Five out oh yes, we're about to do the box. Cool. Nearly there. I only have half my health, so this might be a fair fight. Yeah. 
Okay, maybe not a fair fight. I'm actually starting to fight with a tiny bit of skill and doing some rolling and stuff like that. So yes, we now have two industrial engines. How much lubricant did we pick up there? Oh, we're up to five. So I've actually got everything I need from one little run through there, which is amazing because I thought I was going to have to go to Piggy Boss, but I didn't have to in the end. Fantastic. So we can at least try and get the um, components for it started before night completely falls. And then I'll get the automatic maker to make it in the morning. So 25 minutes to get back. Wonderful. So let's go to uh, one of the grinders and make it make me four police. Needs me one lubricant. I should really go and like go through that a few times and get a stockpile of lubricant, but I just struggle with trying to grind all the time, like grinding dungeons and grinding rabbits and things. Not grinding as in mincing, but I suppose I am kind of killing them too. Uh, power on. And then I also need uh, engines, which I picked up, and I need to make myself some grinding stones times six, I think. Lovely. Make sure I've got everything I need. So the only thing I'm missing is the four pulleys. What? I only have one out of two industrial engines. How? Do I need two per printing press as well? I've got two industrial engines. So why is it telling me I've only got one out of two? Oh no, it only needs one out of two. Duh. I've got, so I've, yeah, I've got enough. It's fine being so silly well I think it's actually time to go to bed now and I think it's time to end the episode as well so why don't we actually go and train the llama now the llama is going to be called okay two of you have asked um, to have the name of the llama and those, I reckon I can I can have those names together so colorful llama your new name is Misty Truth. Because. Oh no! That's our camel hump. Misty Truth. Because Misty Lou wanted to be called after the llama, or have the llama called after them. And also Vizier of Truth did. So we have Misty Truth. Whisper and Misty Truth. I think those are both lovely names. And then there's going to be a big cotton llama eventually as well. Because I'm totally going to be able to tame it. Misty Truth, get back! Also, actually, maybe I could pet you. I don't know if I can here. We'll see. Because you all need to be petted. That's another thing. Is it petted or pet? I would use petted. I think some of my cousins from across the pond would probably say pet. As the past tense of pet would be pet. Here, Whisper, your turn. do this and then we're gonna go to bed I love those amazing animations okay done thank you very much so just gotta get myself a few more That's how, how much money do I have now 4,000 so we're getting up there again actually thinking I probably won't want another fountain. I'm all 
also think the fish tank really doesn't go there very well. It's like only just fits, and I don't like things that only just fit. Oh well, we've got to sort that out in the morning because uh, I pushed she lab a bit too hard. So we are now making some materials, which is great. We've done a lot more rearranging of the workshop. I've got the basic outline of what I want. I've just got to try and fill it in and add detail and things like that, which will happen over time and spend some time. Um, each episode, I'll try and get a different one of the townsfolk to come out on a day out with me. Apparently, um, in the next couple of weeks, there will be another big update where Starlight Island will be added and uh, yeah, Starlight Island will be added and then also there will be a dog so we can get ourselves a dog and there will be um, cotton llamas that we can uh, tame a bit, that's the big boss llama, we can tame the boss llama and there's probably going to be some other, oh yes there's a new festival, that's the other one so yeah that's all to look forward to but I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did then please do leave me a thumbs up below, if you'd like to see more of my time at Porsche please subscribe, I'll let you know when the videos are out, I hope to see you next time in the meantime though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome <laughs>